Uh, this is a Heathkit VF1 VFO. Um, it, uh, I can guarantee you all the electrolytics capacitors inside have been replaced um, if they needed to be. And uh, so I'm going to show you that it works. A lot of videos that you watch on YouTube, um, actually there are no videos you watch on YouTube on VFOs because um, they mostly don't work so uh, but this one does work and uh, it's right now it's on looks like uh, 14 points let's see if I can get this it's around it's, it's, it's pretty close to being on frequency uh, I would get it I'd put the screwdriver in there and get it right on but in shipping it doesn't change much and the way you do the way you do that these are their capacitors in here down in here there's one over here one over here and you use that to get it totally on frequency that's the back of it people complain that they don't get enough pictures um, but if you want more pictures it'll cost you five euros there's the side of it and there's the other side of it and uh, so that's if it works on it has two basically two bands um, the fo the 15 40 20 10 meter band and so if it works on that one because they're all that's all harmonic related we're going to check the uh, 75 meter band or what is called the 80 meter band and uh let's see if i can get that down uh, let's see if i can find it here that looks around 36 around 36 40 uh in that general in that general area so uh, uh the, it has a power supply but you don't get it uh, you power it from a dx40 or a dx60 or a DX35, I don't think you can power it from a DX20. And uh, it has a, a phono plug output. That's how I have it hooked up to in a little bit of an antenna. So it's a nice kind of hookup uh, there that that has. So that's the, these tend to, these do tend to drift a bit. Uh, I once threw one in the ocean and it wouldn't sink. It kept drifting and drifting, but uh, that's the way the heat get they originally sold for 1995. You're not going to get this one for 1995.